Hey there, happy Friday. As always, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm sure you get sick of me saying that. I get sick of saying it. As usual, I'm sharing my journey in the hopes that you'll get inspired to figure out your own journey in your own way to be your best self. I'm not providing any legal or mental health advice and should you need any, please seek out an expert. As I talked about in the last video, after tackling being back open for relationships, I realized that I need to spend some time reflecting on where I fell on two spectrums. The first was my own thought process on powering through stuff versus just flowing with the universe. And also simultaneously, my own definition of the mindset of lack versus abundance and what that really means. I analyzed my entire history, there was a long one, of really needing to hustle throughout my life and my career. I'd spent my lifetime up to this point getting where I was by working my ass off. I'd worked three jobs putting myself through college, basically about 100 hours a week, and then going to school full time. And then in grad school, I worked full time while going to grad school full time. Even when I started my business, I was working full time retail management job while starting my business, which was also full time. All this to say, that I didn't get anywhere in life without feeling like I didn't have to continually hustle my ass off where I wanted to go, in both in life and career. I had literally ingrained systems in my subconscious and my daily habits that dictated I really had to push to get what I wanted and deserved. And while all this grit, determination, and hard work had gotten me to this point in life, I realized that I had hard water, hard wired <laughs> hardwired programming that was not serving me well as a whole person. And I realized the hard wiring didn't really allow me for much flexibility in going with the flow, listening to where I was being guided, and enjoying life to its fullest. I had never been much of a money or status person, but I realized that I was limiting my own definition of what abundance truly meant to me. And I realized in all that hustling and pushing through things with just sheer force, Upon reflection, I could have been making things harder for myself. Now, candidly, don't get me wrong. I'm not just like suggesting that but just by sitting on your ass and waiting for things to come is the way to go. But I am suggesting that I realize that letting some of the self-pressure valve off to uh, like always getting shit done and accomplish the next thing and not celebrating along the way was just not ideal nor healthy for me. I realized that I would, could simultaneously co-create with the universe by taking action and planting seeds, but also not push so hard and kind of go with the flow and not really worry about the how all the time and learn to accept the path of least resistance and flow more. Kind of flow with the river a little bit instead of my hitting my head against the rocks of a dam or a dam. To start learning how to put the intent in the seeds out there and to have a little faith that the universe would meet me halfway with my manifestations. Not everything had to be pushed and carried through constant sheer grit and determination. And I realized that not everything is based on what I was seeing in my immediate world. It's a bit like gravity is how I think about it. You know it's there, but you can't really see it. You just know it. And so I actively worked every day on integrating just more of sensing and feeling as I went through my daily activities. A little less brain and eyes, if you will, and a little more just feeling it. Not only did I set this intent, but I was very aware of flexing my feelings and flow muscles every day. And I also did a meditation with this intention on my favorite picnic bench that I've talked to in so many, uh, talked about in so many videos in Costa Rica that I've told you guys about in earlier videos in the middle of those jungle and beach hikes. And as always, like the universe frequently does, it sent me a magnificent reward. I feel like it's a bit like dog biscuits. I've probably said that before. I had a huge show of butterflies at the end of my meditation, just flying all around me. And I looked up what they signified and it signified transformation. There's nothing like seeing iridescent blue butterflies just flying all over the place. This was the start of something that I worked on every day. And even sitting here today, recording this, even though it was a long time ago, I'm still working on reprogramming myself. 
it's hard to get get all of those, you know, I compare it to a computer when you're programming and hardwired for something. There's still bits, little data flowing around that you've got to get rid of. I do, however, have a new view on both abundance and flow in my life. And every day gets better and better, just like my skills in both areas. Just like working out, got to work the muscles. My hope for you all is that you're feeling abundant in your own life. Or if not, at least starting the journey to figure out how to make that happen for you on your own terms. Until next time, have a great holiday weekend. Take care.